how to overcome inferiority complex. Today I will do a Q&A video where I answer questions that I receive from you, my YouTube viewers. If you are new to my channel and wonder how you can submit your question, that's easy. Just type it in the comments of this video or in the comments of any post on my Facebook page or Instagram. All the links are below. Today's topic is how to overcome inferiority complex. I will share with you five steps and the most important step will be at the end of this video. So make sure to watch it until the end. Before we start, my name is Elena Semenek, I'm a psychologist and a life coach. And this is my YouTube channel, Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! On this channel, I help you to boost your self-esteem, to overcome your insecurity and to guide you in creating loving, profound relationships. My mission is to help you to be happy and enjoy your life. Every week I release a new video about self-esteem, relationships, anxieties, limiting beliefs and all other essential topics that will help you to manifest your dreams. So subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you won't miss my next video on another important topic. Okay, let's talk about tip number one how to overcome inferiority complex. And the tip is fake it till you make it. Try look at this tip as a game. Imagine that you are a confident and successful person. To help yourself to imagine this, use a small object that you carry around every day. For example, it can be your watch or a ring or even a pen. So, Tell yourself, when I am wearing this ring, I become confident and successful. If you do it every day, little by little, this habit will create a new belief about yourself. You don't need to force it. You don't need to prove it. This is a small fun game. So every time you put on your watch, your ring, or take a pen, just remind yourself that this is a magical tool magical device that gives its owner a magical power, making them confident and successful. The goal of this exercise is to be consistent. You need to do it every day for at least 21 consecutive days. But you will notice the first result in about 5 to 7 days. To make the result consistent, just keep doing the exercise. By the way, this is one of the exercises that I teach in my online happiness club. If you want to boost your self-esteem and create a life that you can be proud of, then join my happiness club today. And if you've never been a member of my club before, I have a great news for you. I have a special offer and you can join my club with a 30% discount today. The link and the special offer is in the video description. Okay, let's move on. Tip number two, how to overcome inferiority complex is stop comparing yourself to others. You can struggle from inferiority complex only if you compare yourself to another person. If there is no comparison made, then you can't feel that someone else is better than you. In order to stop comparing yourself to others, think about other people as different kinds of fruits or vegetables. For example, if I am a cherry and my girlfriend is a blueberry, does it mean that she is better than me? No, we just different types of berries. One person likes cherries more, another likes blueberries, so comparing them will not even make sense. Think about this. Ask yourself, if your partner would be some type of fruit, what would they be? For example, my husband would be an apple because first of all, he loves apples and second, he has a hard core inside like an apple seed. So I'm a cherry and he's an apple. 
I'm a berry, and he's another kind of fruit completely. Together, we create a perfect combination, an apple cherry pie. So, instead of comparing yourself to others, just make it fun and enjoy your differences. Next time, when you catch yourself feeling that somebody else is better than you, just remind yourself that this person is a different fruit. There are people who love it and there are people who are allergic to it. The fruit is the fruit. It's neither bad or good. We are all different. So comparison doesn't even make sense to begin with. Okay, let's move on. Tip number three, how to overcome inferiority complex is to get professional help. It is important to ask for help when you need it. You might say that you have your best friend or your family member that you can reach out to, but as a therapist, I can assure you that it is not the same. And on this note, I would like to introduce the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. So let's talk about your mental health and therapy. One of the best ways to explain therapy is through analogy. Let's talk about it. We get our car inspected to prevent biggest issue in the future. We work out and we visit the doctor to prevent and heal from injuries and diseases. We see the dentist to prevent cavities. Going to therapist is just like all of this. Therapy helps you to maintain and improve your mental and emotional wellness. It does not mean that something is wrong with you. You are investing to keep your mind healthy. So BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions. So if you don't want to see anyone on camera, you don't have to. So just fill out the questionnaire online and you will get matched with your therapist within 48 hours. You can schedule a secure video or phone session, plus you can send unlimited messages to your therapist. And of course, everything that you share is completely confidential. Being a therapist myself, I also have my own therapist. As dentist goes to another dentist, I, am as a therapist, have my own therapist. And I like to go to my therapist to maintain my mental health. So check out BetterHelp. And for all my viewers, I have a special link. To get 10% off your first month, go to BetterHelp, which is better, H-E-L-P, help.com slash psychology of happiness. Okay, there are two more tips of how to overcome inferiority complex. Tip number four is to start a gratitude journal. One of the reasons that you feel that you are not good enough, one of the reasons that you have low self-esteem is because you devalue your own achievement. You devalue your own talents and your own skills. Maybe when you were little, your parents placed huge expectations on your shoulders. Or maybe they were constantly telling you that you are not good enough. You've probably heard many times that someone else is smarter, faster, skinnier, healthier, um, more intelligent, more polite, healthier, and blah, blah, blah. Someone was better than you. And you probably felt that no matter what you did, you were always failing to meet your parents' expectations. Let me tell you the truth. This is not about you. This is about your parents. When a parent criticizes their child, it is always the parent who is in a difficult situation and does not know how to react. Instead of looking for a solution, a parent is blaming the child. It is not your job to make your parents proud or happy. Your parents are responsible for their own happiness and you are responsible for your own life. So everything is okay with you. You are enough. And I am going to teach you how to find and connect to that feeling that I am worthy, that I am enough, that I am a good person. 
And in order to do it, buy yourself a notebook. Place it on the nightstand next to your bed. And every night, it is very important, every night before going to sleep, write down three things that you are grateful for. For example, I am grateful for every like that I receive on my YouTube videos. And if you are enjoying this video so far, please give me a like and share it with your friends and family. I am grateful for every client that chooses to pick me as their therapist. I am grateful to my mom for babysitting my daughter so my husband and I can go on a date. I am grateful to people in my local Trader Joe's, their grocery shop, for being always kind and positive. So when you write your gratitude journal, within a short time you will notice how your negative belief system will shift. Your focus will change from feeling miserable and not worthy to feeling grateful and being surrounded by kind and beautiful people. The hardest part of this exercise is to actually keep writing in your journal. This is why I recommend placing it on your nightstand next to your bed so it is always in your sight. Let me know in the comments if you ever kept a gratitude journal and how it was for you or if it's something that you'd like to try. Sometimes my clients tell me that they are going through some hard times and they feel so overwhelmed and so depressed that it's so hard for them to come up with things that they're grateful for. So if you can relate to that and if you are in a difficult situation right now and looking for a professional piece of advice or just for emotional support, Pause the video and type your question in the comments. Share your story with me and other people who are just like you watching this video. Do not miss this great opportunity to receive my professional guidance and emotional support right here, right now, free of cost. I'm here for you. I created my YouTube channel, Psychology of Happiness, to help you to overcome your insecurities, your fears, and truly enjoy your life. And final and the most important step to overcome inferiority complex is to take a blank piece of paper and using a thick marker write down, I choose to love myself. One day, probably many years ago, you made the decision that something is wrong with you. You carried this idea for years. Since it was your decision, for many years you were looking and actually creating proofs to support this statement that you are not good enough. So, since it was your decision, you are the one who can overwrite it. That's why I want you to take a thick marker and write down, I choose to love myself and place it in a visible location. At first, you might uh, feel strange, weird feeling when you see the sign. Because on one hand, you have the belief that you're not worthy, that something is wrong with you. On the other hand, you have a note saying that you choose to love yourself. This will create an internal conflict. Your brain has to research right now and create proofs to support your new decision. Just give it time. Our psyche is a magical device. If you turn your brain into the right direction, it will find all the reasons and all the evidence that you need to support your new idea. A very small but extremely important step here is to change the location of your sign every three days. Make a reminder on your phone. Right now, your brain is focusing on your negative qualities. So I can guarantee you that you will get busy and even forget about your sign shortly after watching this video. So make sure to make your sign right now and add a reminder on your phone to change the location for the sign every three days.
you need to change the location because if you don't, your brain will shortly ignore the sign, even if it's right in front of your eyes. This is a game our psyche is playing with us. It's like chess. Your old self-limiting belief system that you are not good enough will try to interfere and push away the new one. That's why you have your sign and your phone as your allies. Okay, there were five tips to overcome inferiority complex. Number one, fake it till you make it. Remember about the ring? Number two, think about yourself and another person as different fruits, vegetables or berries. This will help you to minimize the desire to compare yourself with others. Number three, find the professional person, a therapist or a life coach. And by the way, I do offer private sessions, so contact me if you would like to choose me as your therapist. Our mental health is as important as our physical health. Number four, start writing a gratitude journal. And number five, take a blank piece of paper and write down, I choose to love myself. And make a reminder on your phone to change the location of the sign every three days. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. And if you are new to my channel, then I would like to send you five free self-development webinars, five free guided meditations, and five free healing exercises. Visit elenasemonik.com slash free or check the link below the video. And last but not least, join my online happiness club and receive instant access to my entire healing database of guided meditations, self-development webinars, life coaching techniques, breathing exercises, art therapy, energy work, and all other essential healing techniques. And of course, you will get my personal support. I do Q&A sessions where members of my club ask me their questions free of cost. Also, in my happiness club, you can enroll into three extremely important online courses. One, healing your inner child. Two, overcoming emotional eating. And three, program yourself for success. So if you want to learn the secret of creating a happy life, enroll in my happiness club right now with a special offer that I have in the video description. You can have a life that you can be proud of. And I'm here to guide you and support you. Visit elenasemenek.com slash happiness. It will mean a lot to me if you can share this video with your friends and family. And it will mean a lot to me if you can share your feedback in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you soon in my next important video. Bye!